Suddenly, a young male adventurer named Ikusaba Asahi appears alone, wielding a sword, and challenges the three orcs. Of course, the three larger orcs underestimate him. With confidence, Asahi provokes the three orcs, and naturally they become very angry. One of them charges towards him, and Asahi, taken aback by the attack, tries to protect himself with his hand. But suddenly, there's an unexpected spike attack from the ground that cripples the orc running towards him. The second attack cripples another orc with an explosion. The last remaining orc, of course, feels helpless and terrified in the face of Ikusaba Maya's overpowering terror. The scene then moves to a flashback of Ikusaba Asahi, who is shown trying to save a little girl from a car that was about to hit her. Unfortunately, this resulted in Asahi's unconscious. Upon finding himself in another world, he sees that the little girl is safe and, of course, he is overjoyed. He then imagines what others' reactions would be when they find out that Asahi has passed away. He thinks of his older sister, Ikusaba Maya. Suddenly, a bright light appears in front of him, and he is pulled into it, falling into a strange place. There are flying dragons and jumping slimes nearby, and that's when he realizes that he's in an isekai world similar to the RPG world he often played. People around him look like medieval Europeans, but they can speak Japanese. In one of the shops, there are signs that say guild, shop, and skill, which are very familiar to him. Yes, he's very sure that he's been reincarnated into a game world. He still holds his cell phone, and when he tries to upload a selfie, he realizes that there's no signal there. And he also just realized that he's in a foreign world without any money at all. Asahi keeps shouting and making people around him feel strange and awkward. Asahi feels very confident because he has played a lot of games. The first step he takes to make money is by selling his own cell phone. When he goes to a weapon shop and offers the phone, the seller is confused and doesn't realize that it is a phone. Despite thinking it's an antique item, the seller buys it anyway. With the money he gets from selling his phone, Asahi buys equipment that he thinks he will need. Since he prioritizes agility, he buys clothes and a simple sword. Next, he goes to the guild to look for a quest. When he asks the receptionist for a quest, Asahi is presented with a registration form to fill out first. After completing the form, Asahi is allowed to choose the quest he wants to take. The receptionist recommends that he take a quest to hunt killer rabbits, which she thinks is suitable for a beginner like him. Asahi agrees and heads off to the hunting grounds. However, on the way, he encounters a huge wyvern, which makes him scared and shiver. The wyvern immediately flies towards him and shoots a fireball at him. Asahi thinks that someone must have set the difficulty level incorrectly in the game world he is currently playing in. Asahi hides behind some rocks and decides to check his status, only to find out that his level is still very low. One of the skills he is is only stone throwing level 1. This surprises him, and he starts to think that maybe his role in this world is not that of an adventurer, but just a villager. When the wyvern gets very close, he uses his only skill, which of course is useless against the wyvern. The giant wyvern is now right in front of him, and Asahi feels very scared and helpless. Suddenly, he imagines his older sister and calls out her name. A magic circle suddenly appears, and Maya, his sister, appears in front of him. She asks Asahi if he called her. The giant wyvern then shoots a fireball at Maya. Maya manages to jump to avoid the attack and feels that her body is very light. She feels a surge of power flowing through her body. When the wyvern comes to attack her again, Maya spontaneously jumps and with just one punch, the giant wyvern is thrown far away and defeated instantly. Asahi is very surprised to see this and even more confused about why his older sister is in this world with him. When he thinks that it's just an illusion, Maya suddenly hugs him tightly, reassuring him that she is his sister. It turns out that Maya is a brother-obsessed girl who is acute, confirming that she is indeed Asahi's older sister, not just an illusion. Asahi asked why Maya suddenly appeared in that world. Maya explained that when Asahi fell into a coma after an accident, Maya stayed by her side and heard Asahi murmuring about this and that in another world, and he seemed very happy. That's when Maya hypothesized that maybe her brother's spirit was in another world. That's when Maya kept banging her head against the wall so she could also be in the other world with her brother. From that story, Asahi realized that he didn't actually die but was in a coma in the real life and had not yet woken up. 
Asahi thought that his sister had come to take him back to the real life, but he was surprised to find out that his sister didn't know how to return to the real world either. Asahi was weak in this world, but this is actually a story about her op sister in the new world. Returning to the scene where Maya defeated the last orc, she managed to defeat them all with incredible power. After successfully defeating all the orcs, Asahi thought that her older sister was very angry because she saw the village people who had been slaughtered by the orcs. But Asahi was wrong, Maya Ne was actually very angry because the orcs called her little brother Pipsqueak. She said that anyone who did that had to die. Suddenly, Maya Ne was surprised, as if she saw something very dangerous. It turned out she saw a small wound on Asahi's right cheek. Innocently, Maya pulled out an elixir, which was supposed to be used to fight the final boss. Of course, Asahi refused it outright. Asahi said that the wound would heal just by applying a little saliva. Maya Ne, hearing that, immediately misunderstood and thought that Asahi wanted her to lick him. Asahi ran away as her sister jumped to hug her. Asahi fell and her sister managed to catch her. With lust, she rubbed her body and head against Asahi. A little child who saw what happened told the villagers that it was Asahi who saved them from the orcs. All the villagers believed it and considered him their hero. Maya Ne didn't mind that, in fact, she felt happy that people also cheered for her beloved little brother. The scene continues as Asahi enters a guild, and it turns out that his rank has sharply risen from rabbit class to ogre class. The guild receptionist then gives him an ogre class badge. The receptionist explains that the badge is like an identity document that is valid in the royal capital. He cannot sell it or give it to someone else, and pretending to be strong when he is actually weak could make him receive the death penalty. Upon learning this, Asahi feels very nervous and starts sweating profusely. He then meets with his older sister and asks her to hide his strength and pretend that he is the strong one. After his sister agrees, Asahi asks for permission to see her status. When he looks at her status, Asahi and Maya are confused because it doesn't seem to show anything. But Asahi suddenly realizes that his sister's level far exceeds what can be displayed on the screen. Asahi becomes dejected and sad. Why his older sister is too strong, not him. Asahi then asks his sister to hide her status from anyone. Suddenly, the townspeople shout and cheer for a group of heroes who are about to fight the Demon King. It turns out to be the strongest party, Clan Bamunk. Asahi comments that in Isekai, defeating the Demon King can sometimes return someone to their original world. Then suddenly, a muscular man begins to rant about how he hates Dragon Hunter Siegfried, the leader of the party that will defeat the Demon King. He rampages and destroys objects around him. Even with his large axe, he almost kills a nearby servant. The man looks very strong and everyone is terrified of him because he also has an ogre class level. The people there also notice Asahi's presence since he is also ogre class, and they place their hopes on him to defeat the man. The muscular man then says to Asahi that a pipsqueak like him cannot possibly defeat him. Maya is furious that someone has insulted her little brother. Before doing something that could harm the man, Asahi asks his sister to calm down and whisper something to her. Asahi promises to do anything if his sister follows his request, and she agrees. Asahi then walks towards the big man and starts provoking him. He gets very angry and attacks Asahi. As he moves forward to swing his axe, Asahi makes a move and the ground in front of the big man suddenly splits open. He immediately retreats and runs away in fear. The people around them cheer loudly. At the end of the episode, Asahi's older sister demands what he promised her. She is very excited and jumps to hug and kiss her little brother.